Hey, welcome back everybody. Well, I got my new the cylinder in the mail. So I took it over the wheel and I kind of cleaned this up good here. Just get all the big stuff off. You seen that there? Clean that up. And now this is the right one because right there is where you put your chain tensioner. I don't know why I put on the last video. It was wrong cylinder that he sent me. Okay, now here, I have oiled this up, put some oil on this, put some oil on this, and uh, I've turned all the rings so they're not in the same area. See, like this one's here, little oil ring, and another little oil ring over here, but the rings, you don't want those to be lining up. Now here's the front. We're going to turn this to the side a little bit. I'll turn this one to the side a little bit. But the F stands for the front. So what I got down here in all my rags is this thing. Now the reason I have it all covered up is because when I was pulling out this little key, oops, I got to put that back in too. this little key out, I didn't want to lose it in there somewhere. So I put all that on there. So I just left it there because I got to put another one in there. So let's set this in here. I got all the oil like I showed you. There, pushed in. Some of them don't want to push in as easy as that one. That one did good. Okay. And then we'll grab the clip, which this is the clip that came with it. I want to put the right one back in it. Get your needle nose. We're gonna try to put that in here, but like I said, I want everything covered up because I don't want you don't want anything going down in there when you're trying to do this. So I'm just gonna hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna try to force this in here. You try to push against the top, you try to get the top one in, and it ain't working. It can take a few tries. Not the easiest thing to do. See how stuff like <laughs> you're dealing with a spring here. This is spring, so you got to be ready for it to go. Can take off out of your where you don't want it to pretty quick. Well, let's see here. Let's try one more there. Push it up in there. Okay, well, guys, I'm going to pause it, and I'll bring you back on. You don't need to watch all that, but you just got to get her in there. It takes a little doing. I'll be right back. Okay, I brought it back on there. I got it just to clip in there, because you just never know how it's going to work. But what you got to make sure is make sure it's in, clip all the way in. There you can see a piece of my glove. Let me get that out of there. There. But you got to make sure it's clipped in all the way around. Now, how do I know that? Well, one time I did one, I didn't make sure it was clipped all the way in. Will it come out? Well, it damaged the cylinder, the piston, and I had to redo it. So it's you learn from experience what to do. Now, you might ask, well, why don't you lift this up taller? Well, look at here. See, we're at the top. One thing about these Kawasaki's, these V-twin engines, they are a short stroke. Which makes the device zippy. Zippy. I mean, yeah, they got a lot of, these take off, they zip. They got uh, some zip to them, you know, power. Which is nice. But, um, don't give you much room to work with there. It's, uh, it takes a little bit to do. Alright, now, I'm going to put this back on here. Here's the I generally don't like these beating against here, picking up trash and whatever, so I generally leave one there, which I should have done. And let's put the chain on, put this on, and then let's put this on all the way around. Now, as you can see, it don't want to stay in place. Oh, well, there's a reason for that. Um, these here will help hold it into place. These two, sorry, these two things here 
will help hold it in place. So what I'm going to do is, oops, see that one pulled right out? That is the top one. Slip it down in there. Then you have this one. Look, it's slipping out too. It's good. And we're going to put it in there. Now, it holds this tight. And that's your oil journals. That's where the oil is going to be coming up. Now, I want to clean. Make sure that the cylinder is cleaned real good. And then let's get some oil in there. And let's run that oil all around. See that there? We get that oil all around in there. And we get oil on this. So then we're going to start putting this puppy in here. Okay, so I'll bring you along here and watch you now. Now, as I said this before, uh, uh, if you watch any of my other videos, that when you start putting this thing on here, this is almost the first thing right here that needs to be going in. Because you don't, you're going to be pulling it back up to get that in. So get that in there. Line up your, your piston on there. The chain's not as big a deal as this thing. You can always get to the chain. But now to get that piston, it's best to have a compressor. If you have a ring compressor, hey, great. That's the best way to do it. But one thing you got to work look out for, and when you're doing this, is make sure that those bottom ones, the bottom uh, oil rings, make sure that those are going. Are not getting caught up in there. Up, see, like that in there, pull out. But it, it's just a little bit of juggling here. <laughs> like anywhere, there's a little piece of my glove. Oh, come on. All right, yeah, let's try this again. It's got a taper. You see a taper, but boy, it doesn't want to work sometimes. You don't want to cooperate sometimes. We're going in there good and smooth, like. You don't like it sometimes to do that. You don't want to do it. <clears throat> then I kind of turn it and try to. Get them all laid down good. But something's not working out right here. Okay, something's not working. There it is. It was over there. Okay. Now, you see my problem? I messed around and I messed up because look, that's hanging out. That's what I was talking about. That's a pain. So, and it seems like you cannot raise it up just a little bit to get her in there. No, it don't work. So, yeah, it's like back to the drawing board here. Start over again. That's the most frustrating is that part there when you're doing these. All right, let's try it again here. Okay. First of all, get that dumb thing in there. Okay, then you gotta make sure everything was in its place. See, it's fall out on me. See that? Something gotta do with. Okay, it can just be a real. Okay, then we're gonna turn. Like I said, we're gonna turn here. Got a few more to get in here. I try to turn it so I can make sure everything gets in there. Make sure it all gets in there. There. Okay, that feels pretty good. It's a challenge sometimes to work uh, getting these puppies in there. Pull that out. Ever and feel it that nothing's. Okay. 
make sure it's smooth, no scraping. Uh, scraping it would tell you that one of those little ones back there is messed up. Alright. Now. Whew, there we go. Got it to that point. There. Alright, now we gotta do is put this in. This is the guide for this side. Chain guide. And, and I said it before, you got rear, front, F, and R. If you can see that, see F and R. We need the rear, because we're dealing with the rear cylinder. Okay, let me... Alright, well, I'm going to button this up and I'll bring you to the next project here. Alright, here we go. Um, I made sure that all these... Where did I set that? You got to have one here and one over here of these... Uh, Aligners, and you can see where they line up, one there and there. Now you got to worry about this little thing here. This needs to be putting on here. Push down in there. Don't forget that. That's your oil pickup. I said it on the last video. I got things set up here, ready to go, and we're going to. Uh, I gotta press this over. There we go. Make sure it's loose. That's where the thing's going. Okay. Now we're going to. Put this head back, this head on, and uh, but before I do that, uh, I do have this here, which is the ground, goes right there. The other one, I don't know if you remember, <laughs> it didn't have it. I, I don't know if I said it or not, but it didn't have it, and that should have been my first, that should have been my first thing that there's something wrong, because it didn't have that. Now, sometimes I think different years they change different stuff, and maybe they put it in a different location. Well, that wasn't the case. I had the wrong cylinder to be putting in there. Now, let me grab my 8 real quick here. Let me pause you now, bring you back. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Well, I got my new the cylinder in the mail. So I took it over the wheel and I kind of cleaned this up good here. Just get all the big stuff off. You can see that there. Clean that up. And now this is the right one because right there is where you put your chain tensioner. I don't know what I put on the last video. It was wrong cylinder that he sent me. Okay, now here I have oiled this up. Put some oil on this. Put some oil on this and uh, I've turned all the rings so they're not in the same area see like this one's here little oil ring and another little oil ring over here but the rings you don't want those to be lining up now here's the front we're gonna turn this to the side a little bit I'll turn this one to the side a little bit but the F stands for the front. So what I got down here in all my rags is this thing. Now the reason I have it all covered up is because when I was pulling out this little key, oops, got to put back in too. this little key out, I didn't want to lose it in there somewhere. So I put all that on there. So I just left it there because I got to put another one in there. So. Let's set this in here. I got all the oil like I showed you. There, it's pushed in. Some of them don't want to push in as easy as that one. That one did good. Okay. And then, we'll grab the clip. That's just the clip that came with it. I'm going to put the right one back in it. Get your needle nose. And we're going to try to put that in here. But like I said, I want everything covered up because I don't want... You don't want anything going down in there when you're trying to do this. So, I'm just going to, hopefully you can see that. I'm going to try to force this in here. You try to push against the top. You try to get the top one in. And it ain't working. It can take a few tries. Not the easiest thing to do. See how stuff like that? 
you're dealing with a spring here. This is spring. So you got to be ready for it to go. Can take off out of your where you don't want it to pretty quick. Well, let's see here. Let's try one more there. Push it up in there. Uh, okay, well, guys, I'm going to pause it. And I'll bring you back on. You don't need to watch all that. But you just got to get her in there. It takes a little doing. I'll be right back. Okay, I brought it back on there. I got it just to clip in there. Because you just never know how it's going to work. But what you got to make sure is make sure it's in clip all the way in. There you can see a piece of my glove. I'm going to get that out of there. There. But you got to make sure it's clipped in all the way around. Now, how do I know that? Well, one time I did one. I didn't make sure it was clipped all the way in. Will it come out? Well, it damaged the cylinder, the piston, and I had to redo it. So it's you learn from experience what to do. Now, you might ask, well, why don't you lift this up taller? Well, look at here. See, we're at the top. One thing about these Kawasaki's, these V-twin engines, they are a short stroke. Which makes it a nice zippy. Zippy. I mean, yeah, they got a lot of, they just take off, they zip. They got uh, some zip to them, you know, power. Which is nice. But, um, don't give you much room to work with there. <laughs> it's, uh, it takes a little bit to do. Alright, now, I'm going to put this back on here. Here's the now, generally, I don't like these beating against here. Picking up trash and whatever, so I generally leave one there, which I should have done. And let's put the chain on. Put this on. And then, let's put this on. All the way around. Now, as you can see, it don't want to stay in place. Oh, there's a reason for that. Um, these here... Will help hold it into place these two sorry these two things here will help hold it in place so what i'm going to do is whoops see that one pulled right out that is the top one slip it down in there then you have this one look it's slipping out too that's good and we're going to put it in there now it holds this tight and that's your oil journals that's where the oil is going to be coming up now I want to clean, make sure that the cylinder is cleaned real good, and then let's get some oil in there, and let's run that oil all around. See that there? We'll get that oil all around in there, and we get oil on this, so then we're going to start putting this puppy in here. Okay, so I'll bring you along here and watch you now. Now, as I said this before, uh, uh, if you watch any of my other videos, that when you start putting this thing on here, this is almost the first thing right here that needs to be going in. Because you don't, you're going to be pulling it back up to get that in. So get that in there. Line up your, your piston on there. The chain's not as big of a deal as this thing. You can always get to the chain. But now to get that piston, it's best to have a compressor. If you have a ring compressor, hey, great. That's the best way to do it. But one thing you got to work look out for, and when you're doing this, is make sure that those bottom ones, the bottom uh, oil rings, make sure that those are going. Are not getting caught up in there. Up, see, like that nerve pulled out. But it, it's just a little bit of juggling here. <laughs> like anywhere, there's a little piece of my glove. Oh, come on. All right, well, let's try this again. It's got a taper. You see a taper, but boy, it don't want to work sometimes. 
don't want to cooperate sometimes. We're going in there good and smooth like they don't like it sometimes do that. And they want to do it. <clears throat> sometimes I kind of turn it and try to get them all laid down good. But something's not working out here. Okay, something's not working. There it is. It was over there. Okay. Now, you see my problem? I messed around and I messed up because look, that's hanging out. That's what I was talking about. That's a pain. So, and it seems like you cannot raise it up just a little bit to get her in there. No, it don't work. So, yeah, it's like back to the drawing board here. Start over again. That's the most frustrating, is that part there when you're doing these. Alright, let's try it again here. Okay. First of all, get that dumb thing in there. Okay, then you gotta make sure everything was in its place. See, it's fall out on me. See that? What am I gonna do with... Okay, it can just be a real... Okay, then we're gonna turn. Like I said, we're gonna turn here. Got a few more to get in here. I try to turn it so I can make sure everything gets in there. Make sure it all gets in there. <clears throat> There. Okay, that feels pretty good. It's a challenge sometimes to work uh, get these puppies in there. Pull that out. Ever and feel it that nothing's smooth no scraping uh, scraping it would tell you that one of those little ones back there is messed up all right now whew, there we go got it to that point there all right now we gotta do is put this in this is the guide for this side. Chain guide. And, and I said it before, you got rear, front, F, and R. If you can see that, see F and R. We need the rear, because we're dealing with the rear cylinder. Okay, let me... Alright, well, I'm going to button this up and I'll bring you to the next project here. Alright, here we go. Um, I made sure that all these... Where did I set that? You gotta have one here and one over here of these uh, aligners. And you can see where they line up, one there and there. Now you gotta look, worry about this little thing here. This is, needs to be putting on here. Push down in there. Don't forget that. That's your oil pickup. I said it on the last video. I got things set up here, ready to go. And we're going to. Uh, I gotta press this over. There we go. Make sure that's loose. That's where the thing's going. Okay, now we're going to put this head back, this head on. And uh, but before I do that, uh, I do have this here, which is the ground, goes right there. The other one, I don't know if you remember, <laughs> it didn't have it. I, I don't know if I said it or not, but it didn't have it. And that should have been my first, that should have been my first thing that there's something wrong because it didn't have that now sometimes i think different years they change different stuff and maybe they put it in a different location well that wasn't the case i had the wrong cylinder to be putting in there now let me grab my eight real quick here let me pause you now bring you back 
All right, I got it all back together here. I got the carbs put on here. Now what we're gonna do is try this out. And let's see if we can uh, get it a fire. I have no exhaust on, so it wouldn't be pretty. Maybe a little low. So we'll see what she'll do. Got the battery hooked up. Well, there you see it fired. I don't want to go too much to be loud, but it seems like it's going to work. It's going to fire up. So I'll get a ring you back on when I get all the exhaust put on. I got to clean out the gas. I got to pump all the gas out of the tank and uh, get some good gas in there so we have some good gas going to our carburetors. I'll bring you back on for the final start and run. If this is the last one, hey, thanks for watching, subscribing. Uh, and um, hey, push the like button and push the bell if you want some more um, videos like this. Come on, Bert. So I'll, I'll just see. This might be the end of this. I might make a separate one with a running and driving. So have a good one, everybody. All right, hey. Well, I got her all together. I got the old gas rolled out. I got the carburetors on. Let's see if we can get her started here. Let me get some new gas going back up into there. Here we go. Start up for a minute. We got carbs leaking. That ain't no good. Carbs are leaking out the bottom like the float. We're not doing that. Oh. All right, that guy's done. y'all tilted here and everything uh, well there it is I just got to put it all back together and uh, maybe then I'll get you a first ride once we get it all back together I get all the stuff on it and I'll take you along on the first ride but there you go got her all going again runs good ain't no smoking so have a good one guys